We all know that you were signed with uh, T Grizzly. Yeah. Okay. What kind of advice would you give an artist that wanted to sign to another artist at this point? Shit, yeah, yeah, make sure, cool. yeah, make sure they fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? Don't 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 go off a off a hunch and you know what I'm saying and, and hold your breath and hope that they fuck with you. What's the deal? This sound effect and I'm here at Hip Hop Weekly with Mafia and Bree. You hear me? Weekly All Access, this is Brianna, and we're here live tonight with the one and only Sada Baby. How's it going? I'm good. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Welcome to Hip Hop Weekly. Man, thank you all for having me. Appreciate my for setting it up, you know, get it going, you feel me? No problem, man. No problem, man. Definitely, definitely. Well, introduce yourself to the fans. Uh, I'm Sada Baby, aka Scooby Steve, aka Freak Cuz, FK to them bitches because I'm banging bloods. That's me. You feel me from the east side of Detroit. Okay, Michigan in the building, represent, definitely, definitely. Well, let's get started. You know, how did you even get interested and, you know, inspired to even, you know, make music? Uh, rapping with my homeboy, like, it, it was really his thing. He was fucking with it heavy, yeah. Okay. Shit, some shit happened. He feel me to where he wasn't able to, well, he, he said he wasn't able to keep on, to keep on with it. And I stuck with it, and yeah, I was doing it for probably like a year and a half, two years before um, I was about to quit. You mm. feel me? Then some mm. shit shook, and I, you know what I'm saying? We here where we at. What? Well, let me interview right there. Okay. What made you keep going though? Because most people, you know what I'm saying, they do their thing, then they get discouraged. Oh, ain't nobody gonna hear me. What made you be like, you know what? I think I got a chance, man. Shit, I made $500. Mm. That's it. That's what did it right though. Yeah, I was rapping for like two years and I ain't got paid for nothing I did. So oh, like wow. the first time I made some money was $500. The so light bulb went off then. I'm like, shit. That shit was fun too. You feel me? Like, I usually have to get $500 off, nigga. A long ass trip of hustling. Right. You feel me? Like, just to just get a couple dollars. So yeah, to do it for like, I probably was performing at that, that competition probably for like, 20 minutes if that mm -hmm. and then we in to make 500 i was like yeah i probably can make a lot of money wow um i know la got a sound mm -hmm. atlanta got a sound memphis got a sound detroit most definitely got a sound man. Mm -hmm. how would you describe the detroit sound in 2020 in 2020 yeah Shit. I don't know. In, in 2020, is real diverse. Like you know, you 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 wouldn't know who was from Detroit unless they like basically said it, and or if you just paid attention. Could to you Detroit. tell? Could you tell if it's a Detroit artist or? Yeah, yeah. Could you just tell like okay, that's just somebody from Detroit people, beats. Certain people because okay. of the beat selection. Like no matter how hard a lot of us try, we still gravitate towards back to the, our, our kind of beats for real. But, right. Yeah, certain niggas you could tell who from there, who not. It's, it seems like a lot of different artists coming out of Detroit. Big Sean. Yeah, it's like a lot. Even like on the Rise artists and stuff. Right. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Is it like a lot of competition amongst y'all or is it a lot of love? Is it love like Atlanta? You know, Atlanta, everybody stick together, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Or is it kind of like... What's that female too from Detroit? From Detroit? Cash Doll. Cash Doll. Oh, she from Detroit? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Is it camaraderie or is it more like uh, crab in the bucket type deal? Um, I mean, you probably could call it crab in the bucket, but... I, I say, I, niggas just don't like each other for real. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't like Atlanta. Like, I know, you know, like, niggas hang with who they hang with. And then it's a lot of, it's a, it's, it's a lot of, like, fragile relationships because niggas be mutual friends, but they necessary sads don't really coexist or could never coexist, you feel me? So, it's, it, yeah, it's, it, it's rough as far as, like, camaraderie and reports back at home. Right. You feel me? Like, yeah. That's crazy it's like that, cause Memphis got that same vibe, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I wonder like, why. Nah, they ain't fuck with who they fuck with. And, and shit, it'd be like that, man. It'd be all right, you know? You know what I'm saying? Like, they be like, buddy, they make it, that's cool. You feel me? Is it almost it's like it. high school, like clicks kind of, right? Damn near. Like, can't sit at this table. We sit at this table. Yeah, for sure. All right, all right I know your song, Block Party, man. What they got, like? Over 56 million views. Yeah, first of all, I'm an artist. What that feel like, man? Uh, it's cold. That like, that was crazy. like the first. That was like the first song of mine that 
like yeah, like everybody liked it. You feel me? Like it wasn't, you know, artists be having their songs to where like that's his best song, but no, I like this one, I like that one. Like a Boosie fan, if you meet a Boosie fan, they all got a different favorite song. That's true, you feel me? So like with Man, that was like the first song that everybody just like, you know what I'm saying? Like what, everybody. What grabbed me towards you was you like you was having fun. It said like you brought like a lot of fun back to, to music and stuff like that. What makes you just be so carefree? Like, I don't care if y'all tripping off my, my dance moves and stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm having fun with it. What makes you say this how I'm rocking? Shit, I've been always was dancing and just, you know. I don't, I don't know where the switch go off where certain shit, you feel me, change for niggas once they get into, into a light. But like yeah, I'm, I'm retarded all around the clock. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit, it ain't no act. I be and I, if you see me in the studio, the whole time to be there, I'm dancing. I don't give a fuck what my homeboys doing. You feel me? Right? Like I'm dancing the whole time. Right. Like, that's just me. I've been like that since a kid. Kitty discos, all that's that type cool, of shit. Man. I'm dancing. So yeah, I'm I'm dancing to other motherfucking music. I'ma not dance to man when I start making it. You feel me? I ain't doing that shit for y'all. Right. Yeah. I feel you. Yeah. You can tell you having fun with it. That's what I think that's what makes people wanna oh, for sure. you know, look more into you and see what you got going on. That's what that worked shit, out for me. It'd be cold, man. I just be I be I be, I record some shit and I'll be like, damn, that was cold. But then like I'll be riding in the car and then listening to it in a different setting, you feel me? I'm like, damn, that shit really cold. Cause like when you watching the videos, it's like, oh man, he doing this thing. But then after a while you listen, like, ah, oh, hold on, man, this nigga can rap. Talking to me. He can rap, yeah, yeah, he talking this shit. Okay. Alright, you uh you just signed with Asylum? Yeah, I've been, I've been with him for a minute, but now it's just like a, um, now that's the only thing that I'm signed to. Okay. Just aside. When did you link up with them, bro? Uh, about a year ago. Wow. Close to a year. Okay. It was, um, it was Warner Chapel, and then something happened, and then it went to Asylum. We all yeah, know that you were signed with uh, T Grizzly. Yeah. Okay. Um, what kind of advice would you give an artist that wanted to sign to another artist at this point? Shit, yeah, make sure, yeah, make sure they fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't, don't go off a, off a hunch, and you know what I'm saying, and, and hold your breath and hope that they fuck with you. You gotta make sure in order to, and, and know that they fucking with you. You feel me? I always feel like that just be kind of hard, man, because it seems like they, they would be so focused on themselves. I ain't talking about T Grizz, I'm just saying like a, a artist. Yeah, ain't tripping at all. It's like they would be focused on themselves. As opposed to like putting they all into their artists, you know what I'm saying? So it seems like it'll be kind of tricky. And yeah. that's what it, 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 it'd be that, and then it don't be that. You can look at like the baby and stuff. Okay. Like right. He fuck with something, you know what I'm saying? Or look at Dawson Keylock. You feel me? He fuck with that nigga, you know what I'm saying? Or like me and Skillet, like that's my artist. I fuck with him. I'm in his videos, we got music together. Oh, wow. I ain't telling nigga he gotta wait to drop with me, none of that type of shit. Like, so it depends on the individual, I guess. Yeah, you got to make sure that they fuck with you. It ain't. Every situation don't be a bad situation. I can respect that. Your new mixtape, Brolic. Yeah. You got a lot of different features on it, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, you got from, from G Herbo to uh, Black Boy. Mm -hmm. How do you go about selecting your features and uh, artists that you want to work with? Shit, I fuck with who fuck with me. Mm -hmm. Basically, you know, it's, people be knowing who you is and, and want to acknowledge you or don't acknowledge you. You know what I'm saying? And then it's people who know who you is that will. But shit, you got to respect the motherfuckers that will because they ain't scared of you. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Other niggas scared of you. They don't do no sign with you, you gonna fuck them up and take everything they got going on over there. Right. That's how that shit go. Okay. You got other motherfuckers who ain't scared to get in that booth with you, you got to respect them. That makes sense. Man. But yeah, we could do songs forever. We do one. Now, clearly you, you got like a, a, a huge rise to fame right now. Yeah. Will you continue to stay in Detroit um, as you continue to rise or would you think about moving somewhere else? I mean, I ain't left that bitch yet, but I'll, yeah, inevitably I'm gonna get out of there. What is it about that? Is it like, you ain't real if you if you leave or something? Like, why? All well, your family's there? I don't, so? I don't know. I don't know what that, that part about it is. I know we love the crib, but I know I, I it'll never be the stigma to a uh, nigga be like, uh, he ain't that no more. Woo -woo. Like, no, man. You can't tell me nothing. Right. You can't. You, that's, that's your opinion. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was on probation for two years, and my probation was like strict gang. Like it was like, like they had me on like the, the task force side right. of the probation. You feel me? Man, because of that, I couldn't go back to my my neighborhood, my original neighborhood. You feel me? I couldn't be seen with certain people. I couldn't wear the color red. Like for two years, you feel me? 
Damn. But at the same token, that didn't mean I, I, I wasn't talking to my people that was from my hood, though. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, that didn't mean that they couldn't pull up on me and none of that type of shit. It's just certain ways you go about it. So, and then you could feel the type of way, like, about that. Like, oh, he don't give me a hood, man. Boy, so what? Hmm. That's still my hood. You feel me? Like, we just, it's like to be where they be at, but yeah. Mm -hmm. it, you, you, can't, you can't tell nobody they ain't real because they don't. Cause they don't live where they from no more. Like, that don't count. Juicy J made a post the other day about, uh, cause you know, Three Six Mafia getting back together. You know what I'm saying? You know, a lot of they raps was geared toward drugs and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, and we lost Juice World, so I, I know he made that post because of that. You know but that, but that's that's but that situation. I don't give a fuck how niggas feel about it. His homeboys was some hoe ass niggas. Flat the fuck out, yeah. nigga. If 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 the plane landed. And I got 10 perks, and nigga, all right, this is about to go on, we about to get in trouble for this. No, you bitch ass niggas, I'm about to pass these perks out. Mm -hmm. We all about to be right, high. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. We all about to get high, nigga. And if y'all not about to help me pop these pills, okay, fuck these these bows and shit. I'm about to get a assault case, because when they open this door, I'm going to be beating y'all ass. Right. Man. So I'm they just watching him take these. Man, that's lame as hell, right. man. That is kind of so that, you can't, you can't put that situation on everybody, you feel me like that? That nigga. His homeboys, yeah, that shit don't go like that. And for what? So y'all niggas can say y'all was the niggas on the plane with him when he died? Mm. They all about to go try to go rap now? Like, that shit corny. What, the, the, the balls was, was for him? Right. Like, come on. You feel me? Nigga, he was putting the play together for you niggas, and you niggas couldn't help him when it came down to him adding some pills. That's, that's so sad, man. Yeah, that shit lame. So, yeah, I had, ain't nobody think about Juicy J Post. <laughs> so, uh, okay. So, you won't change. You won't change. Uh, basically, uh, your liberal content as far as like talking about partying and drugs like that because of situations like that happen. Do you? Um, my question is, do you feel like artists are responsible for other people's kids doing drugs or anything like that? You know what I'm saying? You, yeah. You feel a high regard to that? Like, what, what's your thoughts on that? Yeah, but all, all that shit is a, a controlled environment situation. You feel me? Right. Like, see, I, I grew up around it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I vividly remember. Nigga, uh, Shawty Love, I'm the man remix, mm -hmm. right through the kitchen, oh, yeah. nigga, at my auntie crib. You feel me? And I'm, I'm a little nigga, I don't know what that is, but I'm like, Phew. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking at and watching them, my auntie and them and they, they drinking box of wine and shit, and <laughs> you feel me? They talking weed smoke. Damn, what the fuck is that? Man, I, want, I wanted to get into that. You feel right. me? So, what's in this people that don't let their people, that don't let their kids listen to, listen to rap though? That's true. You know what I'm saying? Don't let them listen to it at all. And that's cool. That, that, that don't mean they kids not black because they don't get to listen to rap and all. I'm just not giving you that option. Like, that's where I, I came from, having choices too. I ain't had no choices when I was a kid. Right. Like, nigga, it was go outside. You feel me? Yeah, go do something. And then come back before it's dark. You feel me? And then when I got older, it was like, stay on musty ass outside and just come back before <laughs> right. it's too late. You feel me? Like, yeah, not that it. it, it People let their kids do whatever and whatever. So if you're gonna allow your kids to do some shit, you feel me? And they making their own choices, that's on you as a parent. It ain't really the, the motherfucking music. That's right. People gonna keep making their music. If 10 rappers right now today be like, I about not to rap about perks and lean and weed no more, it's 500,000 other ones still doing it. Still doing it. It's a nigga that's about to come out this year. They don't, none of us know. He gonna be cold too. He gonna have drugs in his music. Hmm. This year. Yeah, I agree with that, man. Um, I know you're big in Detroit, but what what other uh, states in the United States have you heard that, hey man, you were yeah. popping out here. Cali. They rocking with you in Cali? Tough in Cali. Wow. Motherfuckers know me down here, but they fuck with me tough in Cali. A lot of love in Kentucky. Um, like Nevada. Goddamn. Oh, we talk, Ohio. Oh, oh, yeah, we talking about Wisconsin? Yep, Wisconsin. Goddamn, where are you at? All, yep, that up, shit. Though? Um, Alaska. Mm. Yeah, like Anchorage. Fuck Anchorage, okay. Yep, Yep, um, Arkansas too. Wow. Arkansas, Texas. Um, a lot of people from St. Louis, they, they've been telling me I, I need to come there and shit like that. Tennessee too. Man, what you want to get out this shit, man? When it's all said and done. Man, all my people comfortable. All my people comfortable. You feel me? 
I can respect that. The BMF without the police being able to fuck with us. <laughs> right. For real, all this legal weed, yeah. How have people been receptive to uh, the new mixtape rock? Yeah, I'm fucking with it. They really rock with the WWF, man. Talk about that song, man. What's, what's the backstory on that? Um, it just was. I feel like I hadn't did a song in a while where I, I, I was like stuck to just um, like my cartoons and wrestlings and shit like I used to. Like that shit, like in my early raps, is real heavy. So I feel like I hadn't did that shit in a minute. You know, so I'm like, let me see if I still had it on that type of time. Because I've rapped about like more, more fine and shit. You feel me? Like. But yeah, I just wanted to put that lighter side in there one more time. And yeah, I had some fun with the beat. I like the beat. And yeah, a, a cartoon or wrestler I named just like used to be some of my favorites. What's your, uh, the, the writing process like? You got the Wayne approach, you know? How y'all do that? I mean, I can. I can a whole bar. You gotta learn. You gotta learn how to do that shit. Oh, it's my limit. To That's it. Not even peeing. Oh, I want to forget. So how y'all? It's it's some shit you gotta learn how to do. Yeah. Like every nigga graduate from physical writing. Right. You feel me? Like when I first wrote a rap, long got time when I was a kid, and I didn't even know I was gonna be rapping for it. I physically wrote. It. I used to write poetry too. Like I had all poem books, so I physically wrote it. You feel me? Then you get the iPhones and shit, so when I started rapping, I was using the notepad. But the problem was, I would be right for so long, and sometimes, you feel me, by the time I get to the booth, the caters would be different. And that shit, that shit really was irritating. I get songs that's out that people like that do not sound how it was supposed to sound. I had to try to, you feel me, put the phone down, but I ain't know how to do it. You know what I'm saying? So I say take off. Takeoff was Takeoff was doing um, We the ones with him and T. He was doing We the ones. And he and that bitch, he just kept telling that it was gonna bring him back and say something else. Oh, he he don't bring him back, keep it. Bring him right. back. He got his blunt and his cup. I'm like, man, oh, that shit that be fire when you come out there, bitch. You know what I'm thinking <laughs> in my head, you feel me? When they came out that bitch, we the ones to woo, what that bitch was called. I was like, I gotta try that. I went right to the studio. Got me some cup, got my cup. So we went there and tried it, and yeah. And it's been like that for about I mean, two and a half, three years. Lastly, I wanna say, you got any social media you wanna let the world know what you got coming, you know what I'm saying? Um, Tim Shot, whole Bitch Squad, FBTAG, 50 Zone, 55, Fury Red Zone, East Sad. And goddamn, I'm dropping my debut albums. A lot of people think Brody Everybody was an album. People thought Down was an album. Mm. Mixtapes, you wow. feel me? Like Wu Tape and, and Brody. All that shit's mixtapes. I'm gonna drop my debut album this year. You will take a different approach to the album as you do with the mixtapes. So like, you know, like the same. Type yeah, I've been the album done. I got shit with Hitmaker, all that kind of shit. Yeah, the album done. That bitch locked up, but. Any other features you working with uh, outside of uh, Detroit artists? Or uh, actual album? Um, probably uh, Yachty. Yachty yeah. fuck around, make the tape for sure. Cause we got like close to twenty songs. Really? Yeah, I, I record with Buddy like all the time, send each other records back and forth. I mean, how often you record? You know, them songs like that, like. Yeah, when I feel when I feel like when I feel like rapping, I just go rap. So if, like you in Atlanta right now, you you feel the need like, hey man, uh, book a session. I'm going. In. Uh, I'm going. I was recording last night. I'm going to the studio tonight. If I'm out of town, that's that's a necessity. I don't give a fuck what niggas want get trying to go do. Yeah, we go to the studio first. You feel me? And then I niggas want to go out. Y'all go out. A couple niggas got to stay with me though. Be I? Yeah, yeah. My whole career, I, I book whole trips just to come record. Buy outfits to go to the studio. <laughs> That's real. Make it successful, man. Just keep staying on top of your game. Doing Appreciate like it. Doing. Appreciate it. Well, look, man. It's your boy Mocky. I'm up in this thing with Brianna on behalf of Hip Hop Week. I'm sitting here with the, uh, with, the with the with the goat in the in the, in, the, in the making. Solid baby. Yes, sir. Yo, Detroit stand up, man. I'm about this thing, man. Holla, your boy all day, man. Yeah. Whoa. 
Credit bitch with both hands at the touch it. Pussy almost so good speaking public. I don't cheat the grind, Chris Douglas. Uh.